Chess, often described as a game of infinite possibilities, embodies the exhilarating blend of art, science, and psychological warfare. Each piece on the chessboard, from the humble pawn to the majestic queen, carries its own unique powers, creating a complex tapestry of strategic depth that has captivated minds for centuries. A mirror to human intellect and creativity, chess challenges players to envision a world of moves and counter moves, where each decision can lead to victory or defeat. This ancient game originating over a millennia ago continues to thrive in the digital age, proving that the quest for mastery and the thrill of competition are as compelling today as they were to kings and scholars of the past. Chess key is one such tool which can enable you to learn chess. Chess key is your AI trainer which enables you to learn chess in a style easily and quickly. You can consider chess key as your personal AI chess tutor that coaches you in plain English. I'll drop the link to chess key in video description but let's see and how chess key works and play around with it. So you can see that at the screen this is chess key which is telling you that this is the starting point it's your move as white so i am white on this chessboard now it is telling me that focus on controlling the center and developing your pieces and to be honest i always wanted to learn chess but i'm not as smart as you know uh, all the people out there who play chess so i always bit hesitant but i think with this i could at least try it out and enjoy the game now as far as i know in chess that if you closely look and let me make it a bit bigger so that i will be able to show you that the board is divided into these scales and you can see at the bottom row this is uh, listed as a b c d e f and then on the vertical line on the left hand side it has numbered from one to eight now the middle scales like this d4 this one d5 and this one d4 d5 and e4 and e5 this is the center and it is very crucial so it is always a good idea to occupy them that much i know anyway so let me because that is what i learned that you should always if you are the starter and that's a good thing because you can set the tone of the game then you should first always go with e4 so i'm just going to go here e4 and on the right hand side you can see that it is telling me what needs to be done and it is saying that okay e4 controls the center and opens lines for your queen and bishop let's see how the black responds now black has come up again to uh, d5 and assistant is telling me that this is a scandinavian defense consider capturing the pawn on d5 with your e4 pawn it opens up lines for your pieces and claims more so i can capture it I did. Now it is saying white has chosen the Scandinavian defense. By capturing on d5, you are aiming for central control. Black may recapture with the queen or knight, leading to different type of position. And then it is saying pushing c4 solidifies your center and prepares to support your d5. And then at the bottom, you can see it is also giving you more hints like next move, what should be the next move. Or king safety because that is ultimate goal that here in d1 you need to make sure your king is safe and secure and then you can move along accordingly how cool is that so for example is saying pushing c4 so where is my c so this is my c and this is my four here so can i just go here nope can i go here yes And now it is just moving as the game is proceeding. Now, for example, if I say tactical opportunities, click here, and it is give, going to give me multiple options around it. There you go. So it is telling me that yes, advancing the d pawn to d6 can create tactical opportunities by pressuring black's position and potentially opening lines for your pieces to exploit weakness. You can also check the opponent's plan. 
because that is i think one of the key thing that you need to get into the head of your opponent and anticipate and preempt but they are thinking awesome stuff anyway i think i could play on and on the whole day so i'm not going to bore you with my rookie chess uh, chess skills but again if you're looking to learn chess without really going into the rigmarole of getting training or just spending countless hours pulling your hair this is your opponent and the best thing is that on the right hand side you have your ai assistant which will um, guide you and i didn't have to sign up i didn't have to log in i didn't have to provide any credit card details which is really really good so really hats off to this guy bryden or girl whoever um, so if you want to contact this guy amazing stuff bryden at chesky.lol so hats off to him i will also send him an email just thanking him for this tool and uh, because the credit is due i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this chess key in video description go have a play around and let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching